Again, I'll repeat, it's easy to get stuck. I'm going to say that the worst thing about getting stuck is not moving. Keep moving. Let's write this down now. And the first thing I notice is the sign of 2x. I do notice the identity for that. That's probably the first thing I'd write down. And what do you get? You get 1 plus, let's see, 2 sine x, cosine x. And that could be the dead end you get stuck on. But then I start to realize, you know, maybe I could rewrite a little bit differently. The number 1, there's a Pythagorean identity for that. And that's going to be sine squared plus cosine squared, and then plus 2 sine x, cosine x, dx. That's a perfect square, actually. And what do you get over here? Let's write that down. That's going to be sine x plus cosine x, quantity squared, dx. All right, that would give you sine squared plus cosine squared, and then we give you, you know, sine x, cosine x, sine x, cosine x, which is two of those things. What do I get over here? I get this. And again, things are moving forward. The antiderivative of sine x is uh, minus cosine x. The antiderivative of cosine x is sine x. Let me write that a little differently as sine x minus cosine x plus c. Red pen comes out. Are we getting it? We're certainly getting it. Time to move forward. Thank you.